All right. We are live. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning from North Carolina. I am. That's where I am in North Carolina. Good morning, Agnes. Where are you right now? I'm in Latvia. And I'm what in... time is it there? It's evening. It's evening. What time in the evening? Almost uh, 7 a.m. Oh, PM. My goodness, almost, almost 7. I was just talking to clairvoyant uh, Agnes Ziedinger. That's, uh, that's really uh, what she does for a living. She practices as a clairvoyant and also as a healer and lecturer and advisor. And uh, I'm also here with... The magic, magic hypnotherapist, Connie Cruz. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. I'm in New York, and it's beautiful here. <laughs> yeah, you are in the same time zone, right? Yes. yes so for are. yeah, so for us, it's not noon just uh, yet. It's uh, yeah, we we still have a morning here, and it's awesome. It's uh, wonderful here as well. And today, as I promised before, I'm going to talk about numbers, but not uh, in such uh, abstract uh, terms, but quite specifically about numbers. But also, as if you see the title, we are still going to talk about magic and what we believe in and why we are all here in the group that is all about business, tell your story and grow your business. Because that is because we believe that these things work together. Numbers, material things work together with that world that we cannot quite see and touch, right? But I will start with something that should hook you up and uh, maybe uh, allow you to think Quite specifically, do you know <laughs> what is the price of a Bitcoin Bitcoin today? Does, does anyone know? So I actually Googled and the price is just a second right here. It is $44,120.20. And why I am asking about this number is... Uh, I will tell you a story. When I moved to this country, I moved here uh, because of my husband. And my husband is an investor. He doesn't work anymore in his profession. He's a scientist, but uh, he was lucky enough to be a part of a company, an early uh, founder of the company, which they sold. And then he quit uh, working and he decided that he would only invest. And at that time, at home, before I actually moved here, he had somebody, he was a young, uh, young man in his eight, uh, like at the age of 18 or 19, I don't know, he was just graduating from the high school and was helping people with, with uh, IT uh, and other uh, stuff to earn for, for a living for himself. And he had started uh, getting interested in stock market and just things, just exploring things that he could do. And he had uh, looked into all the progressive and new things. And he had a discussion with my husband at that time. And my husband asked him, what do you think I should invest in? And at that time, uh, that young man said, Bitcoin. And my husband hadn't heard about Bitcoin and he asked to explain what it was. And, at, uh, and of course he did. And it was some, something so abstract, so un, uh, unknown uh, that he decided to not invest in Bitcoin at that time. But you know what the price of a Bitcoin was at that time? I remember that number somehow. It was 27 cents. I was just about to say probably a few cents, right? It was cents. Oh. <laughs> and with the money that he had gotten, like that, that he had available for investing. Uh, oh my goodness, how much money we would have today if he only believed in some concept. But that's a problem. 
for us, and Connie, you will know that, that we live uh, based on our past experiences and our past beliefs. Correct. And it is yes. difficult for us to believe in something in the future. However, we can choose to believe in the future. We can choose to believe that we are supported by the universe. We can choose our own mind, creativity, and our own potential. And that is actually that has made me rather successful in my life because I have really lived in, uh, I would say, quite a poverty at, at a time. And just my belief in what I want to achieve has allowed me to achieve what I have. Of course, today it doesn't look much for me because I have much, much bigger plans, but I, I believe in my plans. I believe in my dreams. And that is how I work with my clients. I'm helping them to also believe in their plans, whatever they are, either they are financial or they are something uh, more intangible or they are uh, certain people that they want to be to uh, have in their lives, whatever that is. But that is something that we need to believe in. But after this, Connie, what do you think about it? What kind of work is that? Does it resonate with you? Yes, totally. Um, and I think you, what you were referring to is holding that vision, right, for the future, which then also um, has to do with creating an intention. And that is super important, right? If we don't have, there's one thing about setting goals, but then there's also setting intentions and focusing only solely on your intention of what you want to create and then building your bigger vision from that, right? But as you said, we function from past beliefs and that's where usually we kind of get stuck at some point. And it's all about reframing those beliefs, right? And uh, you can do that by yourself um, if you employ a certain self-talk or even if you have the ability or learned how to do a little bit of a self-hypnosis or something like that. We can do a lot um, in certain states uh, during the day. I think even when we wake up or when we before we fall asleep, we're in that right brainwave state where we can access the deeper parts of our mind to kind of imprint certain ideas and beliefs. Um, and then of course there's ways to go even deeper, but um, yeah, there's a lot to say about intention, holding a vision and, and reframing your past beliefs that are kind of holding you back from reaching that. Yes, that, that's absolutely right. And that's really, that's work with subconscious mind that I have studied to some extent as well that, uh, that I use when I work as a coach with my clients. But uh, Connie, you have uh, worked even more or studied it even deeper because you do hypnosis, right? Yes, but, correct. Mm -hmm. But what, what I, I will just, what I heard from you saying was that either we do it ourselves or we uh, have somebody to uh, help us. And uh, I will mention something. I met Connie in a group setting when I was working with another coach. And uh, at that time, uh, people in the group, several people, including Connie, uh, had noticed something within me that I would say I held suppressed for many years because I thought that maybe I'm thinking too much of myself, or it's just too boohoo, or stuff like that. But when there were several people pointing that out about me, when I asked what my strengths are, I decided, yes, you know, I knew it for, for a long time. I just suppressed it. I studied business. I studied all these strategies and everything. And I didn't really utilize my gifts that were given by whatever you call God or universe. And that's at that point, I decided to turn to somebody who has actually worked in that realm for all her life. And that is Agnese Ziedinja. What I did was I booked, I, I knew her from, from uh, the social media and uh, I have followed her for a while and watched her 
uh, sessions, lectures, but I had ne never worked with her directly. I just went on her website and booked a session with her. And that session was, I'm going to say, was it called energetic reading and removing uh, blocks or something like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And can I, can I just explain how you worked on me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I simply logged on and Agnesa told me that I would have to sit for 40 minutes and do nothing. I didn't have a conversation with her at all. She didn't know anything about me, nothing. She didn't know where I lived, what I do, what my age was, nothing. She just asked me to sit and maybe close my eyes, maybe meditate, mostly uh, just to relax, which I did. And uh, she turned her screen off and that's, I was just sitting for 40 minutes and magic. And she said, well, let's see what, uh, how much you have sinned in your past and what like all those blocks that you will have and all that. And I was like, sure, <laughs> yeah, why not? And then after 40 minutes, she turned the screen on and then she told me what she saw and what she felt. And she even drew like a lit like little pictures, how, how she saw it. And she basically confirmed what I felt too. And what those other people felt about me. She said, you know, you didn't really have any blockages. Uh, and then she said, you have two chakras uh, more uh, that are more illuminated. And then she told me what I should be like uh, uh, conscious of and what I should maybe tone down a little bit or what what I should say and what I should do and um, so people can feel things and like that but what I wanted to say sometimes we need that somebody comes into our lives and give us gives us that um view from a side, so to say. Agnes, what, do you, what would you like to say about this and how this can help people in business? How do you work? Okay. Um, as we know, if we have some blockages, uh, they may affect our, our lives. Um, I sometimes... Uh, uh, explain to people how I see uh, energetic body and how it's different from uh, our physical body. And there is uh, actually some sim similarities. Like if you have uh, somewhere some blood clot, you may die or you may uh, get very ill. So the same is with these energetic blockages in your energetical body uh, you can get ill or you can feel this uh, like in physical um, body or you can feel this in life something is not right uh, you are stuck or something is not going like you want it um, wrong people are coming in our lives or we cannot get the dream job or get something <laughs> like we think that uh, this is something we need and we are ready, but we cannot uh, take this thing for uh, from alive. So if you have blockages, you may like stay away and just uh, stay in one point in life and you cannot go further. So in business, this is the same. If you have um, like some blockages, there may be some issues with money because... Um, our unco unconscious mind um, is protecting us from money if there is a blockage. And you cannot get this money or this job or whatever <laughs> you want. So yes, I, I had um, some experiences with my clients who, who, was, uh, who were coming to, to me. And after that, they grow up their business. And uh, yeah, that was uh, very interesting experiences but uh, with how I'm working there is uh, one thing that people need to know I'm doing the um, the job where I'm just uh, setting everything right in your and 
ener energetic body. But if a person is living the same life as previously, it all will come back. So I'm, I'm giving some advices and you need to work. Like this is like teamwork. <laughs> so, yes. Well, yeah, and you, you gave me you gave me some advice, and I uh, didn't uh, quite follow. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying. I know that I need to protect my energy more, energy field, because yeah, we uh, we get uh, hooked into. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so see what a powerful team I have, and around this team. I'm actually building uh, a program that I'm going to later offer to you. But uh, I've, all these, all, not all these, but these two women are going to also collaborate with me in my program. And if you would like to know now in advance, contact me directly because I'm going to set up a group of testers and, uh, and the the fun part to be uh, why to be a tester is that this program is actually going to be built for you. So you, we have enormous amount of uh, information that we want to squeeze into the, into that program, but we cannot squeeze everything in. But if you are in that test group, then you can tell what you want and what you need. So I'm going to, of course, uh, talk about this later, but if you want to be one of those first people, uh, DM me and uh, we're, uh, we can have that conversation and see if you would be a good fit. I would like to have different kinds of people because people are different. I don't want the same kind of people. If you come with your story or maybe with your problem and blockage, then... Uh, that's actually attractive for us because we would like to help people who have these little little problems, right? But now I would like to ask Connie again. Connie, why did you decide to actually sign up and uh, for for this collaboration with me? What do you see in in this? Well, I do see a really powerful team. <laughs> and I love what Agnes also just said about how she works with clients and she works on the energetic body. I fully believe in the energetics and in our energetic body. We can do a lot with consciously with our mind, with our thinking. We can work on the subconscious um, beliefs. The energetics is very, very important. So I do believe with all of our skills, right? Agni is working on the energetic uh, body. Um, I focus on the subconscious, um, working with the subconscious mind. And again, just like um, Agnes mentioned, you know, to for people to do the conscious work, they need to follow um, certain suggestions. And same as with, with the subconscious mind, you know, the mind learns by repetition. So there needs to be a constant follow up of, um, um, you know, doing the work, right? And then you bring in the, the business skills as well. So I do believe with our three, it's, a, it's an amazing combination. And I think we can offer so much um, to your clients or to anybody who um, partakes in the program or wants to be part of this program because we're coming from all the different angles, but they are very important for this holistic um, approach to building the business or dealing with, you know, blocks along the way. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a beautiful synergy. <laughs> Uh, I would like to mention, if you think that we are all just woohoo or something, I would like to mention that Connie has spent years and years in corporate, in a corporate job. She has like all the skills she knows about management and she is, has been a businesswoman for many years. And this, and then that made actually her to realize that she doesn't want to live like that anymore. So she quit a well-paid job. Uh, she, she lives in New York. Uh, or you live in Manhattan, right? Right. Yes. right. Uh -huh. And she uh, had faith within herself and this calling. And that's what compelled her to become a hypnotherapist and also a coach. And Agnes actually has studied like formal medicine. She has like, she has been hands on. It's not also just woohoo. She's been gifted as a child since her childhood. But she has enormous also classical and formal 
uh, formal education. Agnes, would you like to speak more on that and also what you see in, in this uh, collaboration? Yes, um, I think that we all together are a very good team. And uh, I think that you, you have something that I don't have, like Connie have something that I don't have. And so this is a great op opportunity for people. And also why I agreed to work with you and Connie is that um, Latvia, and I, I was working with Latvia and with Russia because uh, Latvian and Russian, like languages that I know the best. So, uh, and I think that uh, there is always a point in life when you need to grow up. And uh, there is always a point when you see that you have done everything which you can done in specific place and you need to move on because there are more people who need help. So I think uh, we all together are giving as much we can and giving the help for others so yeah and um, about the medicine if i'm speaking then i left uh, the medicine because i i disappointed in some ways what is going on in, in this um, uh, thing so more um, help and more uh, i can done in this this way what we are doing now yeah, absolutely. But it helps, right? Those those years and that, yeah, to to continue to uh, to do what you are best at and most gifted at. So yeah, I would like to also say that before we came on live, we also uh, agreed that we all want to work with clients and people who are ready to actually believe in something bigger. Yeah, yeah. we. We want to work with clients who are ambitious, really go-getters, just like us. So mm -hmm. if you want to contact me and first think about if you're ready to actually step in and uh, be that person. So, yeah, but um, I think that we can conclude this because I see, see it's uh, almost noon right now. Are there any final words, ladies, that you would like to say before we close down for today? Uh, thinking that probably we will be back, especially if there are questions that you uh, guys want to, an uh, to have answered. So yeah, Connie, is there anything that you would like to say? I mean, I would love to see some questions from your group members. <laughs> And um, I'm totally excited to get started on this journey. I do believe we can, again, with the skills we bringing, we're bringing, uh, we can help um, a lot of people. And that's, I think that's deep inside. That's our main goal, to help in any which way. Because if we help them, if we help others, we help ourselves. If we heal others, we heal ourselves. Because it's all a one community, right, in, in a sense. So I do love to give to whatever is needed to your group, to the broker program. And, and we will receive in, in energetic form or whichever way, right? So it's a beautiful way to collaborate. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited too. And Agnes, you know, I will ask the same question, but maybe I can also lure out of you, if you, if you will, what energy energetically are you feeling about my group? <laughs> I like our group. <laughs> um, I think there will be a lot of people that uh, who will who will like us because I think we are who we are. What's there not to like, right? <laughs> Maybe we're, uh, unserious, but we are doing very serious uh, job. Yeah, and, uh, I think um, people who are uh, thinking with. Uh, subconscious mind and with their hearts they will feel that we are true and this is not a joke and we can help actually so don't look at us like we are in these cases <laughs> like in these bodies we are more than that and um yeah i think we can give a lot if 
if you people will let us to give you. And also, if someone is interested to read something about me, then I have the Facebook page, uh, Agnes Mystic. There is just, you can introduce uh, yourself with who I am and what I'm doing because uh, it's a long story. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how about we post under the, this video, we post uh, each, uh, you know, our website pages or, yeah, so that people can get us know better in addition to this interview. But I love what you say at the end. And yeah, just don't look at how we look in our bodies. Uh, unfortunately, we have to say that because uh, we have past experience where we might not have being taken seriously just because of that that's still the, yeah that's still people, people the reality and that you can be beautiful in and out <laughs> yeah yeah and we'll lead with that thank <laughs> you so much ladies thank you so much you. <laughs> talk to you soon. talk to you soon i'm signing out from here